Hey guys, Sean, Alessi Lover Dummies, Salt S2. Little recap. So, I drilled the restrictor one millimeter. Then I drilled it 1.2 millimeters. I didn't see any detectable difference, nothing obvious. I jumped up to 1 16th inch, which is 1.6 millimeters. Um, I saw an increase of about eight feet per second with the uh, salt supply kinetics, which are 3.7 grams, and a 10 feet per second increase with Joule V2s. Um, and that's where I stopped drilling because I showed in that video the uh, spare end cap I had, which I drilled and tapped and plugged. So I've increased the actual air valve volume now. Not by much, um, but it should be enough. So I didn't want to drill any further uh, and short myself because, well, ultimately I want one magazine of powerful shots. So don't follow in my footsteps if that is not what you're after. Um, and honestly, <sighs> Salt did a really good job with this. As, as, as it was designed, I think the actual mechanics of the air that's moving in here is, is very well designed. Um, you've seen the tests, you've seen multiple tests, uh, not just by my channel. This thing is consistent and fairly powerful, you know, at 19, 18, 19, 20 joules, even higher if you're using heavier balls. So should you mess with it? Well, that is completely up to you. Um, I am a believer that all I'm getting is one magazine and especially in this front loading type of pistol, um, I just don't see it as a, it's this, you're not going to be dropping and running with magazines. That is not what less lethal or self-defense really is. It's about making uh, time and space. So my time and space is going to happen in one magazine or it's not happening at all. Or I'm going to start <laughs> whacking with this thing. Um, so I have installed that plug in here. The CO2 restrictor is drilled 1.6 as it was in the last video. And I'm going to start with the salt kinetics. I'm going to fire the jewels. Yes, but I'm not going to show you the second mag. Well, yeah, you know what I will. I'll fire a second mag of jewel V2s on the first CO2. Then I'm going to switch CO2s with a brand new one and do a full mag of Joule V2s. And on this test, I'm going to then again drop another brand new 12 gram in and shoot some 9.9 .9 gram riot balls. And then I'm going to make a decision whether I'm going to drill more or leave it as is, or maybe work on this end cap a little bit more. This was a very rough um, when I did this. I, I think I might do it differently. But we'll have to wait and see how that works out. So I got a fresh 12 gram in here. These are salt kinetics. Chamber cap and a 1.6 millimeter or 1 16th, not 3 16 like I inadvertently mentioned in the last video. Um, drilled CO2 restrictor. I think my best shot on the 3.7 grams was 340. Three forty four. So only slightly better with the cap.
336. 328. Still remaining pretty consistent though. 324. I'd say really consistent. And then it dropped. 304. And that was the last one. Hey, Jewel V2s, this is the uh, same CO2 second magazine. So you should be able to see now how quickly this 12 gram depletes with the drilled restrictor and this extra little bit of volume we have in here. I think my best on the second mag of Jewel's was um, 226, I believe. A 236, that's a 10 plus. <laughs> 230. 220, but the volume has changed. <laughs> and this CO2 is depleting fast. <laughs> yeah, and there you go, but the last one dropped fairly substantially. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the video. Um, there's fairly large puff of CO2 venting out of this marker. Through the decocking hole. Um, I meant to tape over it. Uh, friend over at RAT Defense. Uh, taped over his and he detected a little bit of increased consistency. I would like to tape over inside the actual uh, cast zinc, cast zinc uh, frame. I think that would probably net more, but in my haste yesterday, I forgot while I was changing the cap to actually do that. So. That'll be upcoming. Um, all right. We're gonna do fresh CO2 and a fresh mag of Jewel V2s. Fresh mag, Jewel V2s. Um, two. 36 was the number to beat, even though I got that on the second mag as well. <laughs> 238, so a little bit better, like two feet per second. <laughs> but surprisingly, it almost did as good on the second mag. <laughs> Holding a little higher consistency. That was the last one. Lost track. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. It really did as well on a fresh CO2 as on the second round of Jewel V2s, like on the earlier test. So I'll just load some 9.9s in a fresh CO2 and we'll go. Fresh 12 gram, lapse time like less than two minutes. Again, my knob is icy cold, the marker's cold. 9.9 .9 gram ride balls. See so what kind of energy we see, because I haven't tested these with any of the drilling yet, actually. So this will be a first. Two twelve. I have definitely seen better numbers. Oh, that one picked up a little. Two eighteen. Oh, two hundred. One 
194. One ninety. Well, that was interesting again. Um, I have seen my best numbers on those riot balls. Uh, my previous attempt with my my cherry rigged uh, skeleton over here, but that said otherwise. Uh, the jewels were very consistent. The salts were very consistent. The jewels did produce more energy. Now, I don't know what the energy is on that, but just based on the numbers, it, it kind of was all over the place. And I don't know that that was a good thing. Um, and some of you may ask why I did not drill this restrictor um, completely out? Well, in the previous video, I did in this marker farted. So I'm treading lightly here. Um, I don't want to go too big to create a fart, but I also want to maximize my magazine. So I'm going to remove the end cap. I'm going to go up a drill, drill bit size and we're going to retest it and see, can I get closer to that goal? Because technically, I'm still getting almost two full mags, and, and that second mag is still consistent. So I need to lose some of that consistency, but I want to push it all into one magazine. Yeah.